Welcome to Match Fishing Masterclass. You join me today to test the brand new Maiva Signature 821 competition pole. This is really a trip down memory lane for me. As my first ever competition pole was a Maiva 421, I think it was. And I'm really excited all these years later to come back and test another one of these poles. So, let's take a look at the package that you get. First of all, the pole's the Signature 821 competition pole, and it comes in an absolutely lovely 10 tube double holder. So there's a, a pocket on this side, and then there's a pocket underneath. And I'd say it's 10 tubes, but you, you're probably looking at more of a, a 12 tube. So you fit six in this one, and then six underneath. So that's a holder. Uh, let's get straight onto the pole. So, the pole itself, you've got three pictured sections. I think maybe what they've done is toned, toned it down a bit, so the green doesn't seem as much green kind of thing, if that makes sense. And then it's finished off with some silver graphics, which are absolutely lovely. They're the pictured sections. Feel really strong, to be fair. And then this is probably my favourite section. It's got the black finish on it. So this is the 11 and a half metre section. And the joints look like they've got an extra carbon wrap on. So that's going to help protect the joints and make it stronger on definitely the, the male joints. And also the female joint feels like it's got an extra wrap on. You can feel a step there, which is nice to know. It's going to give you some confidence when playing bigger fish. So the package itself is around £2,300. It retails at around £2,600, but in the shops you're going to be looking to pay £2,200 to £2,300 uh, for, for the, the pole itself. And the package, well, as with most packages these days, you can tailor it to you. So if you do more canal fishing or river fishing, you can go for the match kits, or if you do more commercial fishing, then the power kits. But each kit is um, clearly labelled. So this one's a power kit. I've actually put some elastic in this already. I've just put the, the Maiva 15 to 18 elastic through it, the hollow. And the reason I've done this is this kit has got a rating of 16. So that's nice to see. So you know that the, the rating for the pole or that, that top kit is uh, a 16. And then the pole actually comes with around 11, 11 kits, so it's a massive package and um, really good value for money, if you ask me. So this one is the match kit. I'm not actually elasticated this. This one's the one out of the pole because the pole comes with a match kit inside and it says, as the power kit did, match kit on there. This one is rated at a number 10. So that's, that's the kit for for your, your lighter elastics, so your roach fishing, your skimmer fishing, canals, rivers, that sort of stuff. But one of the favourite things about this pole are these little things, they're called pole protectors. And all it is, is a cut down piece of carbon to go up the 13 and the 14 a half metre sections, the 11 and a half and the 16. So all your bigger sections, when you strike him with your elbow, they're going to be protected by that. They're absolutely rock hard. You can't, you can't break them. Absolutely solid. But they're fantastic because I always, with my personal fishing, use uh, what I call a dolly butt. But the pole is also supplied with dolly butts. So this one is for the, the six and the seven. And this one's for the eight and the nine. So again, there to protect the pole. 
And yeah, that's about it. Graphics look absolutely lovely. The green has been toned down slightly, which I, I do like. And um, yeah, everything, everything seems to be thought of. So let's get back on the box and put it through its paces again. So the peg I've decided to bring this pole to is a peg I recently visited in a match. And I fished long up this edge to, to a snag. And when you hook the fish, it really does test your pole. So what better peg to bring this pole for a tackle test? And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna feed some bait. All I'm gonna do today is fish, fish pellets long. And I think this is probably the most um, most regular way that people fish, or the most popular, should I say, way that people fish today on commercials. And uh, the first thing I've realised is the cupping kit is exactly the same as all your top kits, which is really nice. There's no cutting back of any top kits or your cupping kit. Straight away, I can feel that the pole's got a really smooth finish, which Maver have always been known for, to be honest. They've got that Suncor finish. Shipping out to the full 14 and a half metres, up to a point. Straight away, that is lovely and stiff. Really, really smooth. Really impressed so far. Really impressed. So yeah, we've gone to 14 and a half minutes. So what I'm going to do is pick up my pole protector, they're called, I think. We'll put that there for when we ship out. I'm just going to put on a pellet. We'll ship it out and we'll put on that pole protector first. I want to use the equipment that gets supplied with the pole because I'm not planning on messing around with this pole today. I'm really going to try and give it a test. We'll slip that up just to protect the back of the pole and hopefully we won't have to wait long. Had a liner straight away. What I've realised straight away, as soon as I've shipped this out, is just how stiff the pole is compared to what I'm used to using. So anyone that watches my videos will know what pole I already use. It is a really strong pole to be honest the pole that I use, but this is certainly a lot stiffer and also lighter as well. Really comfortable to hold at this length. I've not gone to the full 16 and a half metres yet, but I'm sure I'm going to put that section on a bit lighter on and just see what it feels like. Straight away, I'm just going to start feeding six mil pellets straight over the top. I want loads of fish competing in the peg. So we're having to strike really quick at bites. Test how quick the reaction time is on the pole. What tends to happen is the more you pay for a pole, the quicker it's going to be because it's going to be lighter, stiffer. And this pole isn't Maver's flagship pole. So there's two above this. There's a Signature 921, and then there's one called a Super Lithium, which is their flagship pole. And it'd be nice 
to just see how quick this one actually is. Really, really nice to hold. Quite light compared to what I'm used to. Little bite there, I think that might have been a roach. And it's certainly st stiffer than what I'm used to. So it's a dream to use already. But them other two, two poles above this, I think they go up in, in like stages of 500 pounds. So this one is um, 2,300. The 921, which is one above it, is around 2,000. Oh, there you go. Pull, pull. Oh, that's that's bent right over. Oh. Yeah, the one above it's a 921. I think that's around 2,800 pound, three three thousand pound, and then the the Super Lithium, which is the top of the range pole, I think is around 3,500. This pole just absolutely laps that up then. Didn't struggle at all. Not sure if it's a big fish, but it certainly weren't struggling. That's one thing to talk about as well. These, the top kits that are supplied with this pole, have all got slotted puller kits. And they've got like a ratchet puller, as you can hear there. It's got a wheel inside, so it keeps the elastic running nice and smooth. Oh, nice big fish. I tell you what, I thought that was a small fish, the way that pole handled that then. Stunning common. See if we can hold it up. No, I'm not going to. She's still got loads of life in her. We don't want to drop her. But yeah, that absolutely love that then. That pole absolutely lapped it up. Put that out of the way. And we'll get straight back out, see if we can catch another one. I can't believe how smooth this is to shoot with. Really, really nice and light.
And that just about sums up the signature 821.